Express. Starlight Express. Starlight Express. <laughs> Look, a butterfly. Oh, no. Hey, Chris, do you know your back knee spells Citibank in Braille? Great. You had to chase the butterfly. Yes, I had to chase the butterfly. I came out here to observe. Mel First of all, it was Henry David Thoreau. But do you know who Thornton Mellon is? That was Rodney Dangerfield's character in Back to School. You feel good about yourselves? Huh? This is why the other countries are beating us, you know. So, you know, you got only yourself to blame next time you go to the... If we get back home alive, I'm gonna finally open up to Ellen from my math class and tell her how much I like her. I'd like those things for us, Chris. What are you doing? I'm digging a hole. Why? Because I like to sleep... Corpses. Repeat, this is now a recovery effort. We are officially looking for corpses, so let's get back out there, bring back those dead bodies. Oh, God, this is horrible. I can't watch anymore. Mom, Daddy, thank you so much for coming over. Oh, of course, dear. I don't... It's been three days, and I just don't know where else to turn. Please, can you help me? Don't worry, Lois. The spirit world wants very much to assist you. Your missing sons will be found. Oh, oh thank you. Dewey. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, come back. It's gonna get dark soon. All this drama over a turkey burger. <gasps> oh, thank God! Oh, you're not Jeffrey. You're that missing baby and boy. <gasps> Jeffrey, I found... Okay, it's just like the psychic said. Thank you all for your help, everybody. Oh, for definite. It's just like a childhood game of hide and find. You said it, friend. What do you say for celebration we go dunk our whistles in the trough? Oh, we should totally phone Gaspar. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and see what else she has to say. Hey, check it out. Chris and Stewie are on the front page of the paper. You know, Chris, that girl from school sees that picture and you're in. Look, Stewie, I'm not really gonna ask her out. I think that just might have been cocky. F Hi, Chris. Wait a minute, that's the girl? Yeah, isn't she special? That's the way the state of Rhode Island would put it. Uh, there's something up with her, isn't there? Yeah, something I've wanted to tell you for a really long time. Oh, yeah? What? Well, um... I really like you, <laughs> and I was wondering if maybe, um, you want to go out on a date with me. Okay, pick me up. Oh, my God. Well, what is it? What happened? I just went to see my psychic Estelle, and she told me that Stewie is going to grow up to be very successful. Ah, isn't that great news? You went to see that psychic again? That's the third time this week. She's a lifesaver, Brian. Mom, why do I have to take a bath with Stewie? Because, Meg, Estelle told me that someone in the family was in danger of drowning and that I should take some steps to prevent it. So from now on, everybody has a bath buddy. You looking sharp. You've got to look your best tonight, you tubby little parasite, because there's a lovely lady and she's waiting for you. And though her pretty face may... You must impress that ultra booming, all consuming, poorly grooming down syndrome girl. On any normal day, you reek as if you're on a farting streak, your fingers up your nose. And Her eyes are emerald portals to a secret land of love. And her smile is like the sweetest summer flower. Press that super thrilling, wish fulfilling, you who spilling, ultra swinging, boner bringing, gaily singing, ding a linging, stupefying, fortifying, as of Monday, shoelace tying, stimulating, titillating, kitty cat impersonating, mega rocking, pillow talk. Minimal training and the right set of buzzwords, anyone can appear to be psychic. Even a complete boob like Peter. Watch this. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm psychic and I'm getting a strong feeling from you. Do you have a watch or clock that no longer works? Wow, Estelle told me. All right, look, can we just go home now? Come on, Peter, let's go. Brian, I felt something just now, talking to that bitch cancer widow. I think I may have a gift. Peter, we were just doing a demonstration. No, Brian, this is real. Remove all traces of unease and doubt, and I will tell you your future. What is it, Peter?
You will die in a plane crash and be reincarnated as a prophylactic. All right. That's better. My dad's an accountant, and my mom is the former governor of Alaska. Oh, that's cool. It's real cool. Now get up, come over here, and give me a shoulder massage. Oh, that's weird. It's not what I was thinking either. I don't even know how it happened. No, me neither. But the spaghetti's not half bad. A happy mistake, we'll call it. Whoa! Huh, I gotta email that to Babs. She hates people. Huh, got a new email here. And it's from a Nigerian prince. It says he's got millions frozen in an account. All he needs is a hundred grand to pay legal fees. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Brian. Yeah, and thanks for the lecture on what real music is, Mr. Griffin. Jeez, how many Snickers could they eat in a five-minute... She's got a smoking hot body. This is a bigger surprise than when I found out Joe was a clown. I think that belongs to me. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Okay. Huh? What? What are you talking about? It's the oldest email scam out there. The assets are frozen, you cover legal fees, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God, he did say blah, blah, blah. You're never getting that money back. What? So that, that money's just been Josh Hartnett from Carter Pewterschmidt. I am going to Africa and get my money back. And you're coming with me. Africa? We're going to Africa? I wonder if it will change us. But of course it did change us. I've been working here for 50 years pretending I'm a woman. Do uh, Carter and I are going away for the next week or so. You are? Where? Oh, uh, we're, uh, I mean, um, Pinterest. Wow, sounds great. Have fun. This is getting easier. Now I just say daytime mom words. Probably at her house. <laughs> You're hilarious, Meg. Hey, so, uh, what kind of movies do you and your friends like? Well, Ruth likes. Not her. Esther likes. Not her. I like. Patty, just Patty. Oh, she loves anything where a teenage girl is sick and dies of cancer. Or any movie where... Wow, there's so much wildlife in Africa. You know, they say there's some animal species here that... Aha, I get it. If you do not work on my rubber plantation, I will burn your tongues. Oh, my God. Hamburger. <laughs> Ah, I found him. Alonzo Hamburger Jones. He made it to YouTube. Must be filled. You know, Patty, I've got seven fifty left on my Panda Express card. If you want to split a three-item combo, no drink. Sure. Well, then hop on board the Panda Express. <laughs> In bed, right? <laughs> like, like with the fortune cookies, you know. Uh, Brian, can I? Groom. <laughs> this is unacceptable. I demand to speak to Anthony Anderson. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I answer this call. Hey, here's the guys. Who are you, and why are you here? I'm Carter Pewterschmidt, and I'm here because you stole my money. You? You are Carter Pewterschmidt? You're damn right I am. Oh, uh, it's him. It's the great father Pewter Smith. What's happening? Personally, could begin watching at any point in the film and enjoy from there. Oh, yeah, that's how I feel about that video of Kelsey Grammer falling off the stage. I don't understand. So there never was a Nigerian prince? No. You see, no one will actually give money to Africa on... Hey there, babe. Hey, Brian. You ready? Got the smash mouth queued up in the pre. Brian, what are you doing here? I'm here to pick up Patty. We're going to see a movie called Brittany Finds a Lump. You're parked in Mr. Tackleman's space. You're going on a date with Patty? These thugs to tear down the village isn't going to bring your money back. This isn't about the money. This is payback for Sammy Davis dating Kim Novak. Oh, come on, Carter. Don't do this. You don't want to be the first white guy to do something bad to Africa. Are you about done? I'm supposed to go lion shooting with a scum... Damn it, this sucks. I may never get out of here. Well, as a man falsely imprisoned in Africa, I have no choice but to write a memoir of my struggles. Chapter 1. Harry, take this, Chibo. Take this to a French-Canadian flight attendant, and he will give it to everybody. beautiful night yeah hey i wonder if any of those stars are wishing on us huh you're so deep i bet you you're pretty deep too oh you're so sweet bumpy i was just saying that because i was worried you'd become popular and not want to be friends with us anymore meg i'm 18 dollars into this evening so can you maybe just get out of here meg that's silly 
I'll always be your friend. You promise? Watch the earth. Hamburger. There's a great man locked up in a cell. The African folks all know him well to go. Now wait, let me get this straight. None of you guys has ever heard of Bono? He says he knows you. Daddy, what the hell are you doing? You throw Peter in jail? Hey, pumpkin, welcome. Whatever you do, don't tell them you have a clitoris. Yeah. Daddy, I don't understand any of this. I mean, you've always been grouchy, but why are you being so mean-spirited? What's gotten into you? What's gotten into me? I'm angry! For God's sake, I can't even be left alone in my own house for an afternoon. You've all been very kind. Yeah, this has been great, guys. Now, all I need is a group photo of me kneeling in front of the village so I can brag about what a good person I am.